everybody, these are the Wellesley High School keynote singers and Rice Street singers. My name is Dr. Kevin McDonald. I'm the choral director at Wellesley High School. Conducting them right now is Samantha Geisinger, our student teacher at Wellesley High School. And we have several more songs to share with you here, and then we're going to ride across the street and continuing spreading the holiday spirit. So I hope that you enjoy all of the seasons that you are celebrating right now. And I turn it back over to Ms. Geisinger. All right. So welcome to Wellesley Marketplace Pop. We are doing a um, smaller version of our traditional Wellesley Marketplace. We have a three-day event with over 60 vendors for the three days. Um, there are 32 vendors every day here. It's a really fun holiday boutique style experience. Um, we are really trying to raise money for the Wellesley Hills Junior Women's Club, all the grants, scholarships, and fundraisers that we support. So this is pretty big, but it's still way scaled down. Uh, wh why did that happen? That's right. So normally we have about 2,000 people in the door for one day um, for Marketplace. And to this weekend we're having um, fewer people per day, more like 800, 500 to 800 so far. Um, the reason really is to make sure that we're safe in the current pandemic environment um, and not have too many people in one place at one time. Um, and make sure our vendors and shoppers feel safe and happy in their experience. Uh, is there a, how did you choose these particular vendors? We actually had a ton of amazing applicants and it was really hard to scale down who we ended up landing on. Um, we tried to stay with some tried and true vendors that have been at Marketplace several times in the past and then try to inject a little bit of newness and try to get some new people in there just to see kind of how it goes. And so far it's been very well received. Everyone that's come has really found has been doing a lot of shopping. Let's just say we've seen a lot of shopping bags walk out the door. Um, so it's been a very good mix. But again, you know, it's, since it's scaled down, we didn't get to, you know, include everyone we wanted to. But it, we feel like we've got a good assortment out here. Is it uh, trickier managing it for a, a, couple, a couple of days instead of one big day? I would say in some ways yes and in some ways no. One of the biggest differences um, in, in that regard would be that on each day we have a different assortment of vendors. So some vendors are here for three days, some are only here for one, and some are here for two. So every day you come you have a different shopping experience. Are the vendors uh, more local than normal? or? That's a really good question. I would say probably more local than the traditional Wellesley Marketplace, but no, we still have people who are driving in from far away. This is a great event. They know they're going to get a lot of shoppers, so, so they'll drive the distance, which we're very fortunate. And I made, it's a handmade, and I did all the plates. Everything is glass, and then we have different prints, um, and everything is handmade. The good thing is that it's glass, so you can use for a food, cold or warm food. And then just you need to hand wash it and, and that's it. And it's something special, different, it's a perfect for a present or if you want to buy for your own, it's, it's a great, I think it's a great present too. You can put um, crackers, cheese or maybe if you want a chicken also or cupcakes, any kind of food you can, you can put it. 
I made this for myself. I just started in summer and now it's the first time that I'm in the market with my business. And it's a wonderful weekend. Uh, people are great and, and yeah, I think people are, are happy because they have something different for their presence. So I am very, very happy to be here this year. And we, have, uh, we haven't got online uh, a store yet, but we can, you can send us a message by Instagram that we are the same name, Bicara Handmade. And I will be happy to answer all the questions that you have. And also you can see in Instagram a lot of pictures with different prints and different sizes of the plates. I recognize some of your artwork. Uh, people might have seen it around town. You want to talk about that? Absolutely, yeah. So I think you're um, talking about the electrical box that I did in town last year. And actually, there's a painting uh, over here, a large square one that the electrical box was actually based on. So, um, yes, I've done lots of work uh, for families around town, but then also it's so nice to have that, um, that box in front of the Wellesley College. What is, uh, if you were to describe somebody about what your, what your art was like, what would you say? I say I do large colorful abstract pieces is sort of the core of my business and that I love doing custom pieces for, um, for clients as well. Um, so we did a lot of events in well, in the Wellesley area and they offered to let us come in as a pop-up and we're here. We're here until further notice. You can come and tie-dye with us. You can come and shop the area with um, all the stuff that we have pre-made or you can come to, I'm pointing because it's over there, but we, you can come to our space and you can tie-dye anything with us. We host a lot of birthday parties for kids, mom's night, parents night, whatever you want and it's all available to you. This is a whole new thing for you guys? Uh, well, we've been doing parties for a while, but the storefront is definitely something new. But we're seeing a lot of success and we're seeing a lot of happiness leave the space when people can come and create what they want. Can you see some uh, pictures being taken over there? Yes, for sure. Um, so that's for the Wellesley Juniors Club. Um, they We hosted their photographer for the weekend for them to do their holiday photos. Rocking around the Christmas tree, have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in the new 